I'm going out on an afternoon duck hunt today and I'm going to be running my ultra light setup. Uh, got some Remington shells here I'm going to be shooting, but um, ultra light setup, what I've got going on here is I've got my best looking decoys. These are my live flocked head mallards. My beautiful wife is taking the trash out. So on this ultralight duck hunting setup, I made a video on this, but it's kind of changed from that video. What I've got here is my motion duck spreader. I've got eight of these. These are my live flocked head mallards from Final Approach. These are like my best, nicest looking decoys. So I've got, I think six drakes, two hens, and then I'm also bringing just one of these live pintails from Final Approach. And then I'm, I'm bringing that just to add a little pop of color, a little bit of white. And then I've got my three pulsators. So it's going to be a light, easy walk in. It's going to be kind of nice. But the birds right now are kind of stale and very weary. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be having pretty much every decoy moving when these birds are seeing it. So I'm trying to go for the most realistic approach on today's hunt. And then to hide, I've got my Invisiman, which if you guys have not been watching the videos, I have been hunting on the Invisiman quite a bit. This is, oh, there's quite a few feathers on it, but this is basically my new favorite blind, honestly, uh, just for solo hunts and things like that. Otherwise, I'm going to be running that Goosebuster three man, but it's got backpack straps, legs that fold down so you can sit in the water. It's a sweet little blind. So if you guys have been thinking about getting one and just haven't pulled the trigger, Pull the trigger these things are awesome so i'm gonna get rolling here we've got a nice little afternoon hunt today and we'll see if the birds want to play or if they don't i really don't know what's gonna happen it's just kind of been weird lately so we'll try an afternoon sit and just see what it looks like i've been hunting mornings mornings have been okay so figured the evening might as well give it a shot we're set up ready to go got the decoys out all uh one two i think i got a dozen yeah it's a dozen and as i i went to Tucked the sled away as I was coming back and putting up final things in the blind. Like one single and then two groups have worked already. So hopefully that's a good sign. It's time to start hunting, guys. I think it's going to be a good day. Checking everything out. the one I wanted but I think that one was the hand oh she made me walk first one on the board I am a hen slaying fool these days can't say I'm super proud of it but on that I didn't really have a good look to know which one was Drake and hand I just saw a duck and uh 
I wanted to shoot a duck, so I did. And I got kind of hung up, so we'll take it. They worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked. They just did not want to commit. They got low enough to shoot quite a few times, but they didn't want to dump. So that's just kind of how it goes. The hunting's been tough. The birds are weary of decoys and everything, so doing my best. I bet my hide isn't that great, but it's good enough. So we'll see what the next group does, and if they don't do what I want them to do, we can make some changes as we go. But hey, finding success with the ultralight setup already. I kind of like it. All right, I had to move the, uh, the blind. I don't think it was really doing the trick where it was. Moved it probably 10 yards into some stuff that's a little bit thicker cover. Not much, but it's something I wish the water was like six inches deeper too, just to put my profile not as high, but we'll give this a shot. I got him. Am I about to make two? Got a real nice green wing. I think this guy was a little mad that I shot him. Uh, he went, he went away. He's probably, I don't know, 60, 70 yards or so uh, from the hole when he got shot. He was thinking to himself, man, I'm going to try and make this guy walk through knee deep water as far as I can. So I'm going to fly as far as I can and then die. He was laying there stone dead when I got there. So <sighs> must have taken him a minute to gas out. Strong little bugger, but man, what a beautiful looking green wing. Nice little drake. I love these birds, they're so cool. They're little, fast, maneuvering ducks. But man, it's fun when you get a little group of those to come in. Seeing a few birds flying, I think it's gonna be a good evening here. So we got, let's check here. Got about two hours left until we're done. So I think, I think we'll see some more ducks. Another one bites the dust. Well, another mallard hen. Can't be picky right now, especially with the way things have been. Birds have been finicky. You gotta take what shots present themselves. And you know, I used to be really particular about it, only shooting drakes and stuff, but anymore, I'm just, I'm out here to hunt, have a good time. And that's what this is all about. So, you know, if we shoot some hens, we shoot some hens. But at this point, I've got my limit of mallard hens. I can only shoot drakes. There's some ducks starting to fly. I heard some gadwall while I was getting that mallard. So it's looking good. It's looking really good. So halfway to a full limit. So hopefully we can get three more ducks. It'd be nice to do it before the sun goes all the way down. But yeah, we'll just stick it out and see. Mallard number three is actually a green one this time. <sighs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. They're getting pretty. They just look so cool. I love the coloring on their backs. <sighs> Two more ducks to go. Not a bad afternoon out here, guys. It's been great. So hopefully within the next hour, I mean, that's all we got. So hopefully we can finish our limit. That'd be pretty cool. So stick around.
landed short. <sighs> that whole group of ducks did not come in. There was like five or six that landed short. The hunting has been successful, but very hard lately. It's not like the hunting's been tough because there's no birds. It's These birds are really smart. Well guys, that is a wrap for this evening. One mallard drake, two mallard hens, and a green wing. So, it's not a bad day at all. The birds are weary, they're smart, and they know what a decoy spread looks like. Downsizing to the uh, ultralight spread, I think it worked. Nothing really decoyed, but it's kind of how it goes right now. These birds are smart. I don't know if they've been sticking around for a while or if bad hatch has got something to do with it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, but man, there's a lot of ducks. Definitely some ducks here. Just hard, hard, hard to work. So made do with the options I had. Could have shot some later on right at last light, but couldn't tell if they were drakes or hens and didn't want to shoot a hen and break the law. So had to just watch them work and <laughs> they did what they did. <laughs> <laughs>